so there's water underneath sound restraining. What is it? It is flowing vigorously. It's the track coolant, don't you know? First thing about the station is the, the tremendously fantastic water ingress. You could run a mill down here with a hydro turbine. It comes down through here, it comes down behind the walls, comes down everywhere. But the reason why there's so much room for it to flow is because of this amazing floating track bed. It doesn't float on the water, of course. What it consists of... I don't know. At this point, it might. It might, but... Some, someone in the 80s, probably an aerospace engineer who had never seen or heard of a train before, um, came up with this idea where we're going to... We're gonna, it's too loud down here. We're going to cancel the noise. So we're going to get rid of wooden ties and ballast that they sit in, right? Conventional track bed, which is noise absorbing and vibration absorbing. And we're going to replace it with giant concrete slabs on rubber rollers, uh, which, is, which is fantastic. Sometimes rubber pads and they're in a big trough. So not, you'll, you'll notice there's similarities between the architecture of a big trough with something that moves in it and a loudspeaker. So that's that's interesting. Noise cancelling, which is louder than the thing it replaced. And also, because the concrete slabs are loaded in, well, tension in some ways, and they also vibrate, as, as anyone who's ever worked with concrete will know, um, it tends to disintegrate and crack, which, which there are news articles about. I'll send you those. This track bed is totally faulty uh, and has had to be replaced I think more than a couple times. Also, you see, we have some, as you know, water is a great conductor of electricity, right? So, so we, have to, we have to have constant water output very near or onto the third rail. We have to have water deluge onto the third rail to help improve things, I suppose. Um, I mean, I, what do I know? I, the, the experts run this place. 